Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, July 15th, 2018, and I want to give you the weekly update on the all-iron battery. This week we have been refining our results on the battery separator. For those of you who are new here, the way an all-iron battery is going to work is we're going to have an iron anode, an iron salt cathode, and in between there's got to be some sort of separator membrane that keeps everything from mixing up and discharging. A better membrane would keep the two chemistries separate while allowing ions to flow so that the battery will function. To build a good battery membrane, we need something that is a polymer that's going to restrict diffusion through the membrane, something like a gel, but we also need something with a chemistry that will allow some ions to flow and other ions to not. And that usually takes the form of an acidic group, such as a sulfuric acid in the case of nafion, or an acrylic acid in the case of sodium polyacrylate, that will restrict that motion of negative ions. Although not always, as you can see here, a controlled pore membrane that blocks fluid access completely except through very narrow pores can also serve the same function. So far it's been very clear that the nafion is by far the superior membrane type, that shouldn't be surprising. Even our ad hoc membrane made of paper soaked in a nafion solution uh, is definitely our best homebrew separator. Uh, we're going to compare that this week to a commercial nafion that I purchased from the fuel cell store. You can see that here. We're going to see how the nafion in paper works, whether it's as good or, or how much worse it is as compared to the solid nafion membrane. In the meantime, we have been working with sodium acrylate. So that's the sodium salt of polyacrylic acid. So you can think of that as a long chain of acidic molecules all bonded together with sodiums along every acidic group to neutralize the charge. And that <laughs> is commonly marketed as a highly absorptive gel, sometimes found in diapers. And <laughs> you can see how it works here. So here's some sodium acrylate powder. And it's just a solid like salt and if you add some food coloring and water to it and swish it around for a minute it will eventually soak up all of that water and become this sort of viscous gel that doesn't obey gravity anymore doesn't slosh and it does that for an amazing amount of water so if we add a bunch more water you know a hundred times the volume of the original solid polymer. It will absorb all of that and if I swish it around for another minute that all incorporates into the structure and generates this semi-solid material that doesn't slosh. We've been trying to figure out how to get this material into paper to make a membrane. That turns out to be a little more challenging than uh, it might be. We need to dissolve it but of course it makes this viscous gel and then we need to push it into paper. We tried doing that while it was still solid. That didn't work. We, and Nico tried dissolving it in ethanol and isopropyl alcohol. That mm, kind of worked, and that's how we got these results. But I'm interested to see if we might be able to dilute it until it is liquid enough to flow into the paper and then dry it out and repeat that to concentrate that polyacrylic acid into the paper matrix and make a better membrane. So we'll call these results preliminary, but as you can see so far, Nafion is still winning. We've got our polyacrylate gel that we made in-house in the paper as a, as a distant second, and this commercial absorptive polymer impregnated into the paper, that is a, a third place. But definitely the easiest to get, the safest to work with, and something that I think I will recommend in the final paper depending on how good we can get it, as a sort of safe budget alternative to purchasing the Nafion solution and making a membrane out of that. So if you like that kind of thing, please do tune in every week. We update on progress on the all iron battery. Thank you very much to our crowdfunders who have made this summer research possible. And thank you very much to Nico for his hard work making all the actual experiments. Until next week, this has been Peter Allen in the Allen Lab.